Hey YouTubers, Fred for here, part of here for productions with um the good, the bad, and the WTF. So base Big Brother edition. For those who haven't been watching, I I mean I mean before I wanna I do the video, I just wanna point out that um that I'm speaking in a quaint voice. Cause I mean, there's people downstairs, and I would. I'm gonna. I only know there's people out there, you know. And I'm trying to speak in my microphone, and I'm gonna test out, uh, you know. <clears throat> and uh, I'm feeling a little ill and uh, tired, so I'm just. Sorry, but I'll try to be more excited in my other videos. So basically, and so basically, I'm gonna qu quickly summarize what happened for those who haven't been watching. Uh, Big Brother, uh, it's came back, you know, for another season, and uh, only in the winter time due to the uh, wider strike. But now that the strike's over, they're making a little Riders are back, and they're making it a little bit longer due to a twist that happened. I'll explain that later. So basically, we have our couples. So the, there are many twists in this game. There's a couple twists that happened, uh, and <clears throat> so I, I'm gonna discuss a few of the couples that were there. So basically, if you haven't watched, I'm going to quickly summarize what happened. There's a couple of twists, right? The office couple I uh, found out that I uh, saw was, uh, not, was Sheila and Adam. Okay. I know it sounds odd that Sheila and Adam would be a couple because, I mean, you know, the first day, they kept arguing, right? And you know, they they had this whole X factor, this whole X thing with Sharon and someone that I don't remember who, but uh, but now Sharon's back in the house due to a twist because Joshua's um, partner had to live due to a family family uh, emergency and. Sorry about that. Uh, also, let's see what happened. All right, I just made sure uh, that no one was censored. So basically, all right, here's the bad part. I just want to point something out here. The bad part. I don't really like how uh, there's this challenge. You know, the power veto challenge where they get communication and at the end they got communication from the outside world or something and that's all the selection stuff and let me tell you something I was a little angry you know but you know this president manager is all like you know dream for everything it's like oh. and some of the house guys were like uh, are you a Republican or are you a Democrat or whatever? Um, I know I had to make this uh, quick. And let's see. Oh yeah, and now for the WTF, which I think was when. There's, there's this whole alarm thing, you know, I would go off in the house, which means a twist would happen, and it was so corny watching the, the their, uh, the house's reaction to the alarm, they're like, uh-oh, something's happening, I'm, I, I'm not cool with it, you know, 
I'm like, whatever, man. I'm like, okay, it's an alarm. You don't have to. I, I mean, it took them like five minutes just to figure out what the heck was going on. They're like, uh, uh, something's happening, something's happening, and then, uh, nothing. They're like, uh, uh. So, you know, they'll go to the living room, and now they're all playing in singles. Let me tell you something. This is going to be one long season. And uh, that's it for the good, the bad, and the WTF. This is Bear for a Saint. Peace. Take care. And I have a big game in my nose.